Get out of my way! Oh, shoot! Hi, I'm Tony Fast's daughter. I'm Tony Fast's daughter. I'm Tony Fast's daughter. Our family has been blessed to farm in Montana for over 100 years now. And it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. Hey everyone, welcome back. It is almost the end of hay season. I uh, finished baling up the barley and the oats here at home. They're all done. Finished that last night. I am about to stack her in the yard and I know it's had a hydraulic leak. We gotta go bale some alfalfa over on the east farm. So I gotta get this uh, gotta get this leak fixed because we don't have a shop and stuff over there to work with. So I'm gonna go fire up the uh, tractor here in a minute and run the hydraulics. I washed it off last night, so I can find like this morning, and then we'll get going on the road. Oh, well, there's a problem. Loose and eroded the opening. Yep. There we go, the o ring. There we go, all good to go. Pressure washer back out. Hit it one more time and away we go. Sure is a lot of males out there. 476 of them, man. Right around, oh, I'll do the math on that, but I think it's a little over a ton per acre. Good midday. It's almost noon already here, but uh, the camera's been uh, dead. And I finally found another one. I just grabbed it so I can show you what we're doing. So, um, working on headers. They're pretty much done. Um, serviced. Sickle sections that needed to be replaced on the other side were done. So now we're filling holes. So we're gonna try and get these to feed just a little bit better um, this one still has the metal fingers in it the other one has the plastic fingers but uh, we're gonna use these this year and possibly trade them over to the plastic fingers next year you want an inside tour of how these retractable fingers work looks like a whole bunch of fun in there doesn't it So there's these inspection holes here. This shaft that runs the whole length of this auger is offset. So as the auger goes around, I can't turn it right now, I can only backwards. Those fingers reach out and grab 
and as it brings it into the feeder house they retract quote unquote back in to the auger to let it go and then as it goes back around over top it again the fingers are going back out because of that offset shaft so that's how those guys work and over here on this end is a magnet in case any of them break uh, or metal pieces get in there actually this is the magnet sorry is uh, it eventually work its way down there and get stuck to that magnet instead of just continually flopping around inside that uh, auger tube and eventually wearing a hole in the auger these were the caps inside there that were plugging these holes these are the fillers that the auger finger can go through and they're pretty simple we are using some mix and match because it's used stuff so we're just using stuff up don't let it go to waste you got to stick your arm in through with the part line it up snaps right in Bolt started. Yeah, that's like a must. You have to double check, double click. And that's how you take one. Put one in, there's how you take one out. You do have to be careful because these T nuts, as you're doing this, sometimes wanna push through and then they'll spin. I'll show you. So sometimes as you're pushing with the nut, it'll spin, and if your finger's right there, that hurts. I have found from experience. The new one. Have to do it. And you can take your tube. See how these keeper pins hold it in that socket? So that pin goes through the socket and the keeper pin goes through there right so i make my life a little easier try to by marking the pin on the end because you really can't see them in there here's the keeper pin second find the closest available socket that will work line it up these keeper pins have a point so you don't have to perfect they will get close enough and work them in and here. And that's how you replace or add one finger. Voila! And sometimes you turn the auger just right and find another project. Cracks welded up. Plenty of water put down. And plenty of water in there. So waiting for it to cool. We'll put it back together. And Headers are done. Well, we want to get that alfalfa hauled up off that hay field over there before it kills the alfalfa. We get some regrowth. So we have the tail loader loaded up. But you remember last year when we, so two years ago, I think it was last year, we broke the window out of the back of the tail loader. And someone was still kind to send us a cover from ANS Bobcat in Minnesota. So thank you for the freebie. We'll throw it on there and hopefully not break the front windshield out of it this time. Here we go again. today. We're gonna get this moved over to the east place. We've got a truck coming. We'll get him loaded and get him sent on his way and then we'll load this one up and bring hay back here and maybe get two of them. We'll see what we get. We'll move some hay bales. I've only been to this field once. I think it's 25 miles, give or take. And only one mile of it is gravel. So we try to keep the trucks down to for sure, but about 35 miles an hour to keep the rock cabbage down. So, the roads are getting kind of tore up, washed 40, and just life. Let's fill your coffee.
just finished the south half of this field. It's, I guess it's less than a half. 90 acres of the 280 that are here. 137 bales off of 90 acres. So, a little work. Jump across the section line or across the waterway here, I guess. And uh, get working on this other piece. Uh, 1,400 pound average so far. Getting, uh, getting be kind of dry, so I'll probably get my outside rounds build up on this next one. Not dry, yeah, but it's getting there. And then we'll uh, be done for the day's bailing. Do you have any idea how long it's been since I loaded a hay truck? Uh, Probably about three hours. Yeah, about three hours. Yeah, it's been about three hours. Yeah, it's been about three hours. Yeah, it's been about three hours. Got my truck partially loaded. Now I'm by myself. I don't have a truck driver. Tell the handlers parked there. Truck is, I don't know, half mile. Be a nice walk. Good time to talk with all the grasshoppers, I guess. Get out of my way. Ooh, shoo. I don't know what time Tony got started, but he's been out there bailing. He's got too much to do in one day, that's for sure. Maybe two days left of bailing. And that should be it for hay season 2022. Yeah, that's getting it done. This is what happens when you uh, forget to slow down. Well, 10 miles an hour. Bail slide off the stacker. Tim, we're gonna need the tail loader. Got one string just hanging on for dear life there yet. First rebale of the year, that ain't so bad. Oh, grasshoppers. Woo, look out. 12 mile an hour was a little fast. This is why you can't find good help these days. Oh. I'm just saying. I, I did see those top two bales do a cartwheel over here, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, shoot, I forgot about that. I was trying to get up to this next stack so that I'd be close, and I kind of forgot I was waiting for the next stack to come up. <laughs> It'll happen. Yeah. This is what creep mode is for right here. Get the idea. It's really slow. I'm gonna put the camera down so I can bail. And that's how you rebail a bale and make it chop feet, basically. It's pretty brutal right now. Now that's been rebailed. All right, paid out the baler, heading home. I've successfully loaded two trucks. Got mine tied down, the other guy's long gone. And I didn't even break a string. Well, back in the yard here, we're getting the final touches ready before we start harvest. We've got the green cart hooked up. Uh, it is hooked up ISO through scale tech's point system. There's a display on the side of the cart that we can see from the combines. Also shows up on the 700 Pro. And then the controller for all that is all ran through an iPad up there so that we can run that directly to the cloud. It works awesome for all of our record keeping. Uh, bin totals, how many loads come off each field, how many loads each truck is hauled, all that record keeping. All set up in there per field, per crop, and keep that all straight. So quad for now will be running the cart until we get done bailing. We might switch it back on because I just hate putting hours on an expensive tractor like this compared to a little less expensive front wheel assist. Dad's putting some water in the dash trailer. 
Over there, he's got that ready to go tomorrow. We need to do some spraying. We need to go hit the alfalfa for herbicide and insecticide, kill the grasshoppers that are out there and get any weeds cleaned up on there. So we can decide what we're gonna do with it this fall, uh, whether we're gonna go and destroy the alfalfa. I think we're gonna keep it going. The stand was there, it just needed rain early that we didn't get to get that stand really nice. Like we're bailing over on the guest place farm. So that's what's going on. We might get combine in some part of the day, we'll see. Almost go time. Get one machine in the field today, I think. Hey, look at that. Tank full of barley and grasshoppers. Oh, here comes Tim. Oh, no, that's nacho. It looks pretty good. We're going to get a moisture test on it, but uh, I think it's a go. Get our weight off the cart here and then we'll get calibrated. It says we counted 13,736 pounds. So we're at 12.7 now, 12.8. We're really close to being calibrated actually. We had the hail adjustment yesterday and uh, pretty bad damage in the south end here. The bale weights and bale counts really dropped off down there. But now that that's done, I can cut this off at least and see how much difference it ran compared to one end of the other. The 40 when I started, it's already dropping off here, so we'll see if we get to the end. Yeah, that, uh, that's a lot of hail damage. The bale here. Five bushels. For Forty on the other end. Four bushels. Well, good little start to uh, harvest, and I uh, got that 60 acres of barley cut, and the rest of it is still a little too green. So we're gonna leave that. I'm gonna bird to get out of here in the morning. But uh, yeah, my harvest videos to come. So thanks for watching. Don't forget, farm hard. Pray harder. We'll see you next video.